Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. We're going to talk about your competition today. Do they scare you or do they encourage you? Stay tuned. Ah, more keyboard stuff. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where you get your daily dose from me. Hopefully, a little shot of encouragement, a little uh, good information to start the day with. That's my objective. Hey, listen, if you will do me a favor when you get here, drop your name uh, and where you're watching from down in the comments. That will be fantastic. That's always encouraging to me as I continue to tinker with the stuff here. To see that, number one, that you're here, number two, where everybody's watching from. So I can see that there are a few of you lurking, so I'm watching for comments to see where you're from. All right, so today, I want to talk about competition today. Keith! Oh, warm spring day. Well, we've had spring days. I don't know if I'd call them warm yet. Um, competition. This applies... This especially applies if you own a business or run a business, but also applies if you work in a business. Stick with me here for a minute. This is a, it, this, this will be a little different. So, first of all, we have to define competition. And you guys know that I define it a little bit differently. I believe our competition is whoever's getting the dollar today that you want tomorrow. Or maybe said a different way, and, and perhaps even more accurately than that, However, the problem is currently being solved that you want to solve. See, our job as business owners, and even employees for that matter, is to solve problems for other people. Hopefully we can do that at a profit. Excuse me, that requires more coffee. Our job is to solve problems for other people at a profit. So we need that problem in order to solve it. And it is very likely that if that is a painful enough problem for someone else to be um, paying to solve it, right, that someone is, is doing that, that if someone is offering a solution. So... How is the customer, how is your potential customer solving the problem today that you want to solve tomorrow? That's your competition, right? There's a chance that they're not solving it. They're just suffering through the pain, right? Because the pain's not great enough to separate them from their money. But the likelihood is that they have some solution for it. You just have to figure out what that solution is and be better than that solution. That's what we were talking about yesterday with Jimmy Spithill's quote. <clears throat> but understanding who or what you're really competing against is the first key. And I had an opportunity to speak this week uh, at a breakfast, uh, not a breakfast, a lunch uh, meeting of new and aspiring business owners. We talked about this idea of who your competition was, and they were blown away by the idea. They're like, oh, I hadn't even thought about my competition. And see... <clears throat> and this is the real point I wanted to get to today. Most people look at their competition negatively. I want to encourage you to look at the competition in a positive light. Here's why. I'm going to use myself as an example here. Coaching is something that people are not used to hiring or paying for. Hang on one second. That is Keith's nice, warm spring day manifesting in my allergies. <clears throat> All right. Good morning, George. Glad to see you here. All right. Back to my example. As a coach, coaching is something people are not used to paying for. And so the more coaches there are in the market advocating for coaching, 
the more likely people are to engage a coach. That's kind of the rising tide raises all ships argument, right? Which I'm a big fan of. I'm, I believe in them. So that's one, right? Number two, I'm not a good fit for everybody. Even, even in, in this geo market, let alone the others we're getting into this year, but just in this geo market, I can't. I, I, I couldn't help everyone. I don't have the, the capacity to be able to do that. So there needs to be, there need, we have a need for more coaches. And then finally, and, and this might be the only negative connotation to it, or a yeah, negative aspect I'll highlight, we need bad coaches. Now, stick with me on this one because this one's a little funny. I need bad coaches in the market to help people understand what a good coach does. Let's take coaching out of the equation for a minute and say a house painter. We need bad painters so that the good painters, people know what a good painter is. Right? So it's kind of funny that I'm even advocating that we need bad coaches. But the reality is, I mean, and and, and they create some challenges of their own, but the, the reality is they need to be there just like there need to be bad cooks, bad painters, bad carpenters, everything, right? You know, I, I had a, uh, I got a, this texting competition or competition conversation going back and forth with a photographer here in town. We're talking about competition and the, um, you know, understanding who your real competition is. And one of the things that I suggested to her was embrace that competition. Bring them in, teach a class, right? If I, if I put together a class on how to conduct a better coaching session, right, or, or how I go out and find leads, I mean, the reality is we're not looking for the same people. So I can teach other coaches how to find leads. Is that going to hurt my business? Eh, maybe. But if I believe that I'm the best at what I do, and I act like I'm the best at what I do, and I perform like I'm the best at what I do, not going to matter. So teach a class. Show, show them how to do the work. Some of them will see the depth and complexity of what you do and think, whew, I can't do all that. I, I'm not even in, in the same league. Right? Some of them might even engage you to, to help them learn more. And at the very least, you get taught, you, you know, you get paid a little bit for helping them learn those things. So, I, my, my encouragement to you today, number one, really understand who your competition is, but number two, embrace that competition. Reach out to them, right? Hey, I'm in the same line of work. I just wanted to, to meet you, understand what you do. Maybe I can refer some work to you sometime. Who would say no to that? I've actually had people say no to that. I know, that was a rhetorical question, and then I got a real answer. But... <laughs> Some people don't see competition the same way. If they don't, send them here. Send them to watch this video. In fact, if you got any value out of this, con out of our conversation today, share this video with your whole network. Don't forget to give it the old thumbs up in the hearts and comment to your heart's desire. I'll answer those comments and questions even after the show is over. That's going to be it for today. Today's Thursday. That means tomorrow is what? Yes, that's correct. Free Coaching Friday. So be sure to have your questions ready. We're going to play... Uh, I don't understand that. <laughs> I'll read that in just a minute. We're going to play another uh, round of Stump the Coach tomorrow. So come prepared with your questions. Try to stump the old coach. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Have some fun with that. All right? You guys have a fantastic Thursday. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.